Solana. If you're venturing into the cryptocurrency world, there's too much information to learn that can be confusing. That doesn't have to be the case. In this channel, we strive to simplify crypto so you don't have to struggle to understand it. In today's episode, we shall discuss Solana, a decentralized platform that pays for transactions using SOL or SOL. Join us today as we try to understand what Solana is and why you should use it. Welcome to the Crypto Andy channel, where we cover everything cryptocurrency. We give you the latest news in the cryptocurrency world, research and review various platforms, and give you relevant information that you may need to navigate the fast-evolving cryptocurrency world. Let's get started. What is Solana? Solana, also known as Sol, is a blockchain public platform that hosts scalable decentralized applications using the POS or proof-of-stake mechanism. It seeks to get consensus through POH or proof-of-history a new technology. Anatoly Yakovenko founded Solana in 2017. The Solana Foundation, located in Geneva, operates this open source project, while Solana Labs, located in San Francisco, developed the blockchain. Many people consider Solana as Ethereum's number one competitor. Solana processes transactions fast and at lower prices than Ethereum. In 2018, Solana scaled up to facilitate its operations on cloud-based networks. The company also published a 50-node approved public testnet to constantly support up to 250,000 transactions bursts per second. By December, Solana had processed more than 40 billion transactions at an average price of $0.00025 for each transaction. Let's go deeper into proof-of-history concept. In November 2017, Anatoly Yakovenko published a white paper explaining the POH concept. In this idea, he validated a passage and order of time actions to help encode debatable time passage in the ledger. According to Anatoly, public blockchains were not time-based back then. The lack of regulated timing suggested that when a communication timestamp received or rejected a message, the remaining participants within the network had no guarantee that they would make a similar choice. POH leverages all the nodes across the network to overcome this occurrence. Furthermore, it also uses the recorded time passage in the ledger on the debatable action that is critical for blockchain operations. Let's cover the tokenomics of Solana. The Solana blockchain operates with the Solana cryptocurrency, popularly referred to as SOL or SOL. In 2021 alone, SOL had scaled by nearly 12,000% throughout the year, an action that has given it a $57.6 billion market cap with each trading token at $187. SOL's market cap now places it at number 5 among the biggest cryptocurrencies based in the market cap ahead of Doge, Polkadot, XRP, and Cardano. During the launch, up to 500 million SOL were launched in the Genesis block, but the SOL pack generates new tokens automatically on a predetermined program. Often, the inflation rate will be at its highest once it's first enabled before dropping continuously until it attains a steady overall inflation rate. Solana's inflation rate is currently at 8%, but it's set to drop annually at a rate of between 13% and 15%, until it achieves a steady inflation rate of approximately 1.5%. The total SOL supply at the moment is 511.2 million, while the circulating supply is 307.8 million. In terms of use cases, there are two use cases in the Solana network which are number one, transaction fees, where users can pay transaction fees using SOL, and number two, staking. Users can hold on to an active authorization of stake SOL on the network directly to receive staking rewards. The information below is based on research from asari.io and research.binance.com on token distribution. 16.23% to seed round investors, 5.18% to validator sale investors, 12.92% to founding sale investors, 1.88% to strategic sale investors, 12.79% to team members, 10.46% to the Solana Foundation, 1.64% to public auction sale investors, 38.89% to the Community Reserve Fund. The team or founders allocation is liable to a 9-month lockup before launching the network. After the lockup process, the tokens vest every month for two years before fully vesting by January 2023. So much has been happening around the Solana network. Let's look at some worthwhile examples. Recently, the former US First Lady Melania Trump hinted at cashing in on the non-fungible tokens craze. Michael Jordan, the NBA legend, announced that together with his son, they would launch HEIR or HAIR, a Solana-based platform meant to empower athletes. Solana suffered a sudden transaction decline on December 13th 
something which was attributed to the DDoS, or Distributed Denial of Service Attack. Solana announced on December 10th, confirming that the native Opera crypto wallet will be integrating support for Solana in early 2022. Solana USDC went live on December 7th for withdrawals and deposits on Liquid. Solana has integrated into the Bloomberg terminal on November 16th. Brave announced their partnership with Solana on November 8th to integrate the platform in their browser. This action would make it the default platform for dApp support. What are the Solana use cases? Solana can power a wide range of applications with various features, like currency. The Solana cryptocurrency wallet means that you can use it to receive or send Sol. You can also exchange it for services and goods, smart contracts. These are applications that execute the contract terms automatically once their conditions are fulfilled. Non-fungible tokens, or NFTs. NFTs were previously linked to digital art. They can be integrated with Solana to facilitate transactions. Generating NFTs on Solana is cheaper than it is on Ethereum as we have seen before. The average cost of producing an NFT on Solana as of October 2021 was 0.00001 SOL. Producing Solana-powered NFTs is fast and guaranteed, while production on Ethereum can take a long term and success is not guaranteed, even though you will still incur charges. Solana allows you to create unauthorized use payments that are not subject to government regulations or centralization. DeFi, Solana's ecosystem, is in its early stages. The network has used numerous marketing strategies and hackathons to attract many users who have obtained more than $12 billion in total value restricted throughout its dApps. Seven DeFi projects have been integrated on Solana. These include the Phantom Browser Extension and Wallet, Radium, an automated market maker, Step Finance, a dashboard that facilitates Solana transactions, Sabre, a stable cross-chain exchange, Mango Markets, Serum, and Solend, a decentralized borrowing and lending platform. Digital Apps Solana supports the development of numerous apps such as investing games and social media. Some of the Solana dApps you should know include Automated Market Maker, Decentralized Exchange, ORCA, Serum, and Star Atlas. Solana provides dApps developers with a platform to develop apps at a cost-friendly price. POH Approach Apart from the POS, that's proof-of-stake concept, that facilitates authorization of transactions, Solana will timestamp them. Proof of History preventing them from reordering to the validator's advantage. As a result, Solana is sensor-resistant. You may be wondering, does Solana have a good development team? To answer this question comprehensively, we need to understand the company's history from conception to where it is today. We've seen that Anatoly Yakovenko published Solana's POH in November 2017. Previously, he specialized in the distributed design industry, where he collaborated with some of the most renowned technology companies like Dropbox, Mesosphere, and Qualcomm. Greg Fitzgerald, Anatoly's former colleague at Qualcomm, would later advise him to transfer the Solana code base to the Rust programming language. Fitzgerald started prototyping the inaugural open source enactment from Anatoly's white paper before Stephen Ackridge, a former Qualcomm colleague, had joined them. Anatoly later hired Ackridge, Fitzgerald, and three other professionals to co-found Loom. However, they renamed the company to Solana to avoid possible confusion with another Ethereum-powered project which has a similar name. The team has since incorporated other members to the team to boost performance. Solana has partnered with various institutions like Civic. This is a decentralized integrity ecosystem that facilitates KYC and identity verification with compliance tools for DeFi, NFTs, public blockchains, and businesses. Chainlink. This is a decentralized Oracle network that ensures smart contracts can access web APIs, off-chain data feeds, and conventional bank payments. Chainlink has partnered with Solana to form a high-frequency Oracle that can be used by you for binary trading options. Hummingbot This is an open-source crypto trading platform and enables you to trade crypto using high-frequency trading strategies. LoanSnap this is a mortgage company that provides homeowners with smart loans. The company is incorporating their home coin token in Solana to give you a method of gaining rewards. Akash This is the first decentralized cloud computing open source company that is incorporating Solana in its super serverless cloud infrastructure, allowing users to implement low-cost and powerful servers to scale applications or run nodes. Fortmatic this platform has innovated an SDK that gives you access to decentralized applications with an email address or phone number. Users don't need a browser extension. Fortmatic is incorporating its SDK in Solana to provide user-friendly alternatives to Web3 wallets. That's the end of our episode today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons. 
Let us know what information you want me to cover next in the comment section below. See you next time!